Today I'm in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, and I'm hiking to this beautiful, massive waterfall. It's called Stillhouse Hollow Falls. Let's go. to the channel guys if you're new here my name is Jamie McCracken thank you so much for tuning in to another adventure here on my YouTube channel I hope you're having a great day I hope you get a lot of enjoyment and value out of this video today I'm headed to Stillhouse Hollow Falls and it will connect to the Elk Ridge Trail here in Mount Pleasant Tennessee you see a little waterfall behind me I've been hiking for I don't know maybe about a, a half mile so far of this two mile trail so it's an easy trail it's about a 50 degree day here in uh, the first week of January. So really, really pretty. It is gloomy. There's no sun or anything, but it's cozy. I'm warm. I am uh, enjoying this hike and I want to show you how to get there. So let's do this guys. How pretty is this? Here's a beautiful little cascade waterfall right here. And you're just walking along the trail. Absolutely beautiful. Today it's about 50 degrees, 51 degrees. So staying warm with the beanie on the head, but really, really pretty. I mean, look at this behind me. You're just walking along the falls right now. And it's a really cool hike so far. I mean, we're looking at about two miles today. So not too far, it is rated an easy hike on all trails. So not going a long distance, but absolutely stunning so far in the first half mile of this hike. So I am continuing on the trail right now, the falls. You can hear them, they're behind me now, but you have to go this way and down and around to get to the bottom of the falls, which is where I'm headed now. Absolutely gorgeous waterfall. It's been raining a lot here in Middle Tennessee. So uh, I knew that the water would be flowing today and just very excited to get down there. I mean, it is humming down the, uh, down the rocks and just a beautiful, beautiful waterfall. This bridge only has one railing because on the back side of me there is nothing you could just drop off into the water <laughs> but uh, we're continuing on we're almost to the bottom of the trail or the bottom of the the, the falls I should say <laughs> we are at the bottom of the trail too because we've just been going down 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 pretty much this entire time so anyways though we're gonna continue on and should be there in just a second, like, I don't know, 0.2 miles to go, like two tenths of a mile.
for now to Stillhouse Hollow Falls. I hope you guys really enjoy that epic waterfall. I'm headed back now onto the trail. This is the Stillhouse Hollow Falls Trail that I'm on right now, but I'm gonna connect with the Elk Ridge Trail to make this a full loop, which is like the whole two mile or 2.5 miles, something like that, a uh, journey that we're on today. So hike's not over, but that right there definitely is gonna be the highlight of the day. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Let's continue to hike. Okay, so of course to get down to the falls, or the lower falls, it was down, down, down. So now it's going up, up, up. But excited to hit the Elk Ridge Trail to loop back around. And uh, yeah, this is a great day. Really great day. So we made it back up top, and this is where the trail split. So this is going to be the Elk Ridge Trail that we're going to take back to the car. But first, I kind of want to come over here, and I want to see the top of the waterfall. So we're gonna stay on the trail that we came down. We're gonna go to the top of the falls and make our way back to finish up the loop with the Elk Ridge Trail over back into the woods. I am at the top of Stillhouse Hollow Falls now, and this is a beautiful view of the 75-foot waterfall. Climbed up out of there. Gonna leave the falls behind now. We're gonna backtrack. We get over to the Elk Ridge Trail and head back to the car for the day. A lot of fun. Really hope you guys enjoyed this because I've had a blast. Made it to another marker here. It says uh, Overlook Trench that way. Not really sure what that is. We're just gonna stay on the ridge trail though. Turn left here. It's uh, it's marked by these blue blazes. And of course, I just highly recommend downloading all trails because you can always uh, backtrack and retrace your steps that way. Uh, just in case, because as you can see, it's hard to kind of follow the trail. I mean, you can kind of see it. And the blue blazes help, but it is covered in leaves right now since we are in winter. But nonetheless, uh, got a little half mile to go, probably. Maybe a little bit over a half mile. Okay, we have made it back down to the first bridge that we crossed today. It's going down these steps now. So, obviously to get to the falls quick, you will just take the boardwalk and go that way. If you want to, you can save the best for last and take the Elk Ridge Trail up this way and it'll loop around. So, that's kind of like the, the hall of the hike. But if you want to make it short, just come across the bridge and go this way. But we are on our way back up to the car, and we only have like three or four tenths of a mile left to go. So, see you at the car. I've made it up to the parking lot. It is behind me. I just came over here to talk on camera to do an outro because I only have 2% battery left. By the way, you're right beside the Lawrenceburg Highway uh, when you come up here and park, but I wanted to go over the Final stats of the day, let me get on all trails. 2.5 miles, an hour 14 minutes to do, and 384 feet of elevation gain. So not too bad, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I gotta go, I got 1% remaining. I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace.